Hello, hello friends. Today I want to show you how to create a photo album in PowerPoint. Sometimes you have uh, you have photos, you have uh, pictures, family photos, and you just want to present them on PowerPoint and just want to have them as a uh, on slide. You can just create a photo album in PowerPoint and present it. Then how to do it? Let me just jump to the slide. I can go to any slide and go to go to insert. You see here this home, this insert. And then you go to photo album. You can see here you have photo, photo album. And then you click on the photo album. The photo album that I have here, you see if you have or uh, have uh, created any photo album, you can just go here and edit. You can edit your album that you have, cre that you have created. But if you didn't create any photo album, you just go here to new photo album. And here you can see once you put your cursor here, there is create a beautiful presentation for your favorite photo correction. Let me go to new. Arriving here to new, you can see I have uh, I have uh, this uh, this interface. You have uh, album content here. This is where to click when you want to insert photos. This is a uh, you can insert them from file or disk. And here you can insert text, new text box if you want. You can just insert a text and uh, you can just here down down put uh, you can check here to put the captions below all picture. All picture black and white. You can here choose whatever you want. But here you can check here to select to to, to put a captions under all pictures if you just want to type something just a bureau all pictures down here you see we have uh, have layout you can see you have album layout this is where we click to to fit to slide maybe you just want two pictures or two photos pass right three photos pass right and you can even just uh, put one photo on the right just to make it the way you want. Here there is a frame shape. On the frame shape, you can choose any shape you want. You can just here see you have a rectangle, you can have a rounded rectangle, and down here you can browse for for a theme if there is a theme. And the photos, all photos selected, all selected photos will be here. And this is uh, where we'll have the preview. This is where you can just uh, yeah, see the preview of all pictures. Once the picture or the photo is inserted here, you just have the right to remove it. Once you say you click on the picture, you can just uh, move it, move it up or move it down, or you can just uh, remove it if you want. Let me just try to insert to insert uh, a couple of pictures, a couple of photos. Let me go to insert here on the my on the desktop. You see you have. Uh, have different images I can just uh, I can select let me go down and down and hit uh, and just hold shift and click here yeah let me select those for photos and click on that and I wait a little bit you see here you have different pictures here inserted there are so many I have uh, 32 32 photos and you can see here the preview. In picture that I click, you can see the preview here. You can see here the preview. And here, let me just, uh, if you just want to, to put the captions on all pictures, you can just uh, check here. If you just want to put boxes, text boxes, here, there you go. And if you just want to remove a picture, you can just click here. Once I click here, you see this one is clickable now. I can remove it. I can just... Uh, Move it down, you can see I'm just moving it. Or I can just moving it up, moving it up. 
and down here you see through the picture layout i can just uh, uh click here to choose one picture per slide to pictures one picture is it's, uh, it's normal but once i choose to picture you can see how to look like here you can see the the preview for how to look like you can see you can see it here now how picture two pictures pass right and once i choose uh once I choose four, you can see how it was looking right. This is how it will be uh, looking right. This is uh, four pictures per slide. But for now, I'm just going to take two per, 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 per slide. And here down there is frame shape. Frame shape, I just want to have to choose a round, rectangle, simple frame, wide, simple frame, black. You can just choose any frame you want. Let me just now uh, choose. Uh, rectangle simple and you can choose sub, uh, can browse for a theme if you want but if you don't need it you can let it like this and then if you are done just uh, checking everything and here if you just want to put captions if you don't want to put them there there is no need and go here you go to create click and on create and you wait a little bit to see how your pictures are going to to be looking like and now just we are now just creating an album photo album now you see you have uh, a photo album and this is the name by default you can change it yeah this comes with uh, this uh, new created album you can see here now how my album is looking like let me go to uh, to slide show and see how nice it is you can see now to photos patch slide you can see it's looking very nice you can just choose the pictures that are generally that are uh, that are equal in size you can just make them equal and this can be done during selection you can see now what i have here A very nice album imagine if it is a family album and now let me just end the show and go to to design you can just change this uh you can change the design if you want you can just choose a design you want you can see you still have the right to make changes you can make changes here you see changes can be made you can see changes can be made if you want to change it like this you see now how it's working right now this is uh you see now this is the change you can here change what is here you can change the name you can just change the font maybe if you want you can just uh, type in name you want this name is, uh, comes here out by default but here you see we can just uh, do uh, different things you want you can animate you can here put uh, transitions, you can put animations as I've seen and any picture that I have selected, you can just uh, make some transitions if you want. Guys, you can even move picture here, you can here order, you can go to slide show and go to, yeah, to and there you will go you hide some photos if you want to hide them, you can just uh, here just a show from the beginning. You can here down go to slide sorter and you can move slide anyhow you want but now you see you have a very beautiful album once i just go to slide show again you can see how nice it's working right guys this is how you can create album you take your family photos and you create a very a very wonderful a very wonderful album and here you can go to normal again here you go to normal and here if you go to picture album again to photo album again you go to insert again once you go to insert again and you go to photo album you can see here you can now edit your photo album because now we have an existing album and once I click here, you see you can make changes and then you go here to update. 
you can here change i can put captions and update and you see our photos here will have captions i can go here down and type i can create what is here and type what i want maybe i can type maybe my home my home and here you can type whatever one if it is a family album if it is a family if it is a family album you can just type whatever you want under each photo below each photo and you can save this uh, photo album as a pdf you can here go down there down and you can export you can print it you can export it to pdf you can see photo album let me go to desktop and save it there in pdf and this is a, a very nice photo correction and you have seen that you can just put a, a number of pictures that you want on on your right you can see you can well, as i go down you can see my correction my photos correction actually looking very nice guys this is how you can do it and enjoy this video and guys see you next time